All right, we're down here today. This is Dave from Jake, and we're on the Falcon today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a rig for giant bluefin tuna for trolling ballyhoo. What's a tuna? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a 20 foot long section of 180 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna simply now what we have here. We're we're gonna take a piece of chafing tube. Put a put a sinker on. Then a piece of chafe tube. We have a 12 aught 7692 mustad hook. We're going to, this is a three quarter sinker that's drilled out. We're going to run our, our leader back through the sinker. And then we are going to go through our crimp. Let me see your lighter for a second, Dave. There they have. Then we're gonna burn the end of our, our fluorocarbon here. Uh, much from the little hut. No. And, and what happens when we take that end fat on our rig here, this line can't pull through there now. Now it doesn't matter how you crimp it. Now you can crimp it very lightly and you're not gonna crush your line. Uh, and the, thing cannot pull through there. We're going to draw this tight. So this is our, our connection. We've got chafe gear here rubbing on the hook so the hook can't chafe the line. We've got our sinker here so you need a chin weight for your ballyhoo. And then we're going to go ahead and crimp this. Like I said, we have the end swole up on this so we don't have to crimp it super tight. down a little bit okay now this this connection right here is 100% this is 180 pound fluorocarbon you can put 180 pounds of drag on this and that's the fluorocarbon will break before this connection does mm -hmm. then we're going to this is a Joe shoot eight ounce Joe shoot redhead crystal it's a very good bait Also known as a cherry bomb. We don't use that politically correct, politically incorrect term that some other guys use. <laughs> about it, about its hair color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the same connection on this, on the front side of our rig as we just did. We've got a crimp. And we put a piece of chafe tube on there. And we put our swivel on. And then we're going to go back through melt our crimp again. And then we're going to burn the end. That's a new trick. I never saw that trick before. This is, uh, totally different than the way we do a Yankee style. You will never lose. This is 100% strong. You will never lose a fish okay. at this connection right here on video on video yeah well it might be on tv if we do so yeah you'll hear your name be cursed out while i'm smashing shit <laughs> you're, not gonna lose a, you're not gonna lose a fish on my rig if i start breaking stuff you're not gonna get it you know what happened okay <laughs> this is our connection that goes to the rod you'll notice that where i crimped it down right here i kind of left the ends so that they flared out a little bit and that's so that I'm not crimping the end of the crimp so that it squeezes on the line. Now this thing right here, super duper strong. And the nice thing about it is, is it's compact enough that with your big guides on your 130s, your big rods, this will wind through the guides. You can crank the fish right up. There's no leadering required. Now we're gonna take a, uh, 
little piece of wire and we are going to twist it onto here, onto our wire. Wait, what did you twist that onto? The, uh... Twisted it onto the loop here. Okay. Yep. And now we're ready to put a bait on. Onto the bottom of the loop. Yep. All right. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to rig up a ballyhoo to put on the bait here. So we have a jumbo ballyhoo. We just thawed it out. We're going to take it. We're going to squeeze the belly. We're going to get the turd out of it. And we're going to squeeze it along its back and you'll feel it crack a little bit. It makes a little sound. And I want to kind of get this thing so that it's real nice and flexible. That way when we put it in the water, it'll swim real nice. You take it and you kind of work this little last bit of the tail right here. And it makes a little cracking sound a couple times. So we did that. Take the fins, we're going to cut the fins off the side of it, and then we're going to poke its eyeballs out. So now we're ready to put this thing on the hook. It's nice and flexible. Okay, so. We want to kind of measure this thing in place. So the chin weight is going to go right under the, the gills right there. And we want to look at where this hook is going to protrude from this fish at. So now that I have a good eyeball on it, I'm just going to kind of put my thumb there. And I'm going to take the hook and I'm going to poke a hole in the belly of it right here. That way I know this is where I want the point of my hook to come out at. So I'm going to go up under the fish's gills. Put the hook in and I'm going to have my hook point come out of the hole that I just made in its stomach. Uh, that's crucial because if you don't get this lined up right it gets a kink in the bait and then you get a correct you get a twirly buried and then you get to catch nothing with that. Once I've got the hook in place where I want it to be at I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to run it through the eyeballs once behind the sinker and then I'm going to go behind it once and I should have went in front of it and then I'm going to go in front of it once pull it tight. When I pull it tight, what that's going to do is that's going to push that wow. sinker right up into his, his chin. After I pulled that tight, I'm going to push the, push the wire right through the soft spot. There's a soft spot in his beak right there. I'm going to pull it through right there. Yeah, okay. Simple. Yep. And we're going to wrap this several times. So we run out of wire. And I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run my leader right down. There's a little groove okay. at the bottom of his beak. I'm gonna run my, that leader right through that groove. And then I'm gonna twist it right up his beak. I'm gonna clip the beak. Nice. I'm gonna fit the bait. Fit the lure down onto the bait. This thing is ready to pull. All that there is guaranteed. It's guaranteed to get wet once we put it in the water. And it will do that. <laughs> It'll get bit too. <laughs>